contingency, and then we could go through the department budgets and figure out. Well, Ms. Chairman, let me let me be clear. I am scared to death of the Stanton Springs incentives. Mm -hmm. I, I, having been at that meeting, and I think uh, four of us were at that meeting, and we never got a clear eight answer. Now, I'm just, I used to do development in corporations. When, when you don't get a clear answer, what that what that means is something's being hidden, and and it, it worries me because they said you're not going to have to put another dime into Stanton Springs. That worries me. I mean, it really does. I mean, I think Sand Springs is wonderful. I, I love the jobs coming in. It's 1,800 jobs. But if somebody doesn't give me a pro forma and doesn't say, this is what your portion of that is, it scares me to death. And then we're talking about spending tens of millions of dollars on Stanton Springs now. And that money's got to come from somewhere. The Fort County Authority does not have any money of its own. So, and, and frankly, no one's going to loan Fort County Authority money without having guarantees. So it, it scares me to death. I, I think it, to, frankly, $265,000 today is too little in the contingency. And, and what I've based um, having that on here, um, if we did have the million dollar um, incentive program, which I'm not sure if we will or no. if we won't. No. It's okay. a definite no from the state of Springs. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. The, 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 if I may, Mr. Chairman, my understanding of the remaining local funds that have to be spent are water and sewer oriented funds. It is. And the New County Water and Sewer Authority is essentially in control, charge of all that. There's always a possibility, Commissioner Bernard, like you said, that we might be asked for a guarantee on a GFA loan or something mm -hmm. along those lines. However, I, I will report to you that the last significant GFA loan that the New County Water and Sewer Authority got, they didn't need the guarantee. Right. I mean, they're well enough off there in the They've got several million dollars of their own cash. Right. Commissioner Hill. I, I was passing on to him. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Commissioner yeah, I agree. Uh, what I'll say is this, because I asked a question that night at the meeting. There are going to be $10 million of GFA loans for the water and sewer. And they repeatedly told us this was to run a line from Stanton Springs to the city of Covington. For the, for the water and sewer. And they're still considering building a treatment plant down there. And if they are, then that's going to be more money. And I specifically asked, were we going to have to, who's going to guarantee the loan since it's going to benefit Newton County, which they repeatedly said it was. Why wouldn't Newton County guarantee the loans? Or why wouldn't Newton County Water and Sewer guarantee the loans or the city of Covington? Because they're the ones going to benefit from all the water being sold. We're not going to get anything off of that. And they said, in essence, that we would have to guarantee the loans, is my understanding, but that we wouldn't have to put up any more money. So we don't know. Well, and I, I would, I would feel safer putting aside a hundred thousand dollars, which is our, uh, well, a million dollars is going to be ten percent of that, and I don't think we'd have to do it. We, we need to put something aside just for Stanton Springs, just, just in case. How much? It, how much a year are we already pay in Stanton Springs? Sixty thousand. Well, and to hold to, before we go there, um, I did do a calculation. If we were to put up in a million dollar, if we had, I mean, I'm just saying this was prior to our meeting on mm -hmm. Thursday. Um, and if you annualize and do an amortization schedule on a million dollars for thirty years, and I just did a seven percent interest rate, just you know, which you sure, half of that. Right, we could get that for half. Um, it would be about seven thousand dollars a month payment for that, and um, if you multiply that out times twelve, that's eighty-four thousand dollars. So, if if anything, and because we did not know about the outcome of Thursday's meeting, I was going to suggest putting the eighty-four thousand dollars back into contingency to cover that cost if we were to have to produce any incentives. So you're saying you take the uh, contingency back to. The Roughly the three hundred thousand. Right, right. That's 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 good. If in case you know, and not I'm not saying that there that's are going to be, any, but I I would rather be sitting here telling you to put this money in there mm -hmm. um, than saying I think we're fine. Now you need to continue to see where the stand is right, this year. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem. Exactly. And so that was going to be my recommendation. And I know seven percent is high. 
but if you know mid year we have to um, require this loan, I would rather have enough money for closing costs, you know, any kind of thing that comes along to go with that. But that is my suggestion. Okay. Well, I mean, if it came to half of a year, whatever it was, and we had enough money in there, that's for sure. Right. That's, that's, uh, well, um, we've, we've gone for several years with a very little contingency. One of these days, something is going to happen. We're going to be in a world of trouble. And um, our time's running. we got 15 minutes. So.